The Proud Boys march in combat gear uh, to protest a church's holiday drag event, despite the fact that it was canceled for safety. A holiday drag queen story hour was canceled after it was learned that Proud Boys were going to be in attendance protesting against that. Upon arrival, the Proud Boys showed up in full combat attire with weapons. They look like paramilitary groups, you know, ready to go into Ukraine and fight the Russians <clears throat> instead of showing up to protest at a church, the First Unitarian Church of Columbus. The Holly Drag story time was supposed to be, you know, at this school, a community school that is within the First Unitarian Church of Columbus. But the organizers, you know, they canceled it. They said, no, we're not going to do this. We don't want any kind of violence. But the Proud Boys still showed up, fully armed, fully dressed out. Now, here's where the story gets more interesting. Police were seen getting close to and talking in a very comfortable way with members of the Proud Boys, including at one point a situation where one of the police officer high fives a member of the Proud Boy group. That called for immediate reaction. You know, people were demanding what is going on about this. The chief of police, Elaine Bryant, came out and said it was a misunderstanding. The video has been shown online that shows one of our dialogue team members high-fiving a member of the Proud Boys. We understand how this looks and how this could make community members feel. However, this was not done to show solidarity, but an attempt to diffuse a tense situation. So again, you know, it was a situation where the police wanted to go out and they wanted to calm the community members. They wanted to calm the church, which wasn't having the event, by the way. The tense situation had already been resolved when the church canceled the event, when the organizers canceled the event. That should have that should have de-escalated the situation immediately. But instead, the police went out there. Now you have an image of a police mediator, dialogue team member, becoming more friendly toward one of the Proud Boys. You know, I hear a lot of individuals talk about how protesters should be arrested, that there should not be any de-escalation. They're breaking the law, or they're disturbing the peace, or they're violating somebody's property. Well, why weren't the police doing the things that these individuals want them to do? But instead, no. We're going to go out there and we're going to de-escalate this stuff. I, I believe fully and completely in defunding police so that we can move toward de-escalation events instead of escalation events. But this was not the time nor the space to have a police officer out there looking chummy with the Proud Boys.